Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very interesting story which has gone viral over the past day. So you may or may not have heard about it. And if you haven't, well, you're in for a treat. If you're new here, I'm Mikey Mo, and on this channel we cover law enforcement topics as well as showing you some of the day-to-day -day things I do on the road, which you should be seeing again real soon. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you know when I post new videos. As always, if you see anything you enjoy on this channel, leave it a thumbs up and even better, tell your friends. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's get into today's video. So, this real life police drama takes us to the small town of Stinnett, Texas, where police chief Jason Collier is in some hot water. Well, actually he's in jail as of filming this, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, a little bit about Jason. He is an ordained minister who is married to a woman named Opal. He has two kids and two stepkids. He's also the chief of police for the city of Stinnett Police Department. All sounds pretty normal, right? Well, enter stage right or left, whichever. This is Cicely Steinmetz from Armarillo, Texas, not far away from Stinnett. Cicely began dating Jason, who told her that his marriage to Opal was annulled, even showed a forged document to prove it. So moving forward, this new relationship was going well, and this past November, Jason proposed to Cicely. Well, about a week ago, she updated her Facebook profile picture to the two of them together. Shortly after this, the Stinnett Police Department Facebook that Collier runs posted about something that happened in town. And this woman showed up in the comments. This is Christy Schaefer and she lives in Kansas. Now here's where you have to start paying attention. So a friend of Cicely noticed that the profile picture Christy was using to comment on the Stinnett PD page was a picture of her and Jason. Now this was brought to Cicely's attention and she went into full detective mode. Her findings you ask? Cicely learned that Christy was also recently proposed to by Jason as well. It was then that she posted the truth and commented on her profile picture with an update. And from there, well, let's just say, shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> now, this story goes on and on and on, and this would be an hour long video if I went through the entire thing. So I'll leave a link below for one of the many news articles if you wanna get some more of the deets. The cliff note version is that this went viral. More and more women came forward with a final count of 13 confirmed women with rumors of more all the way up to 17 that Chief Collier was actively dating, two of which he was engaged to, all while being married to two other women. Yes, you heard me right. Like, how does this even happen? I can barely juggle a wife and one girlfriend. What? No, 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 it was a joke. It was just, it was for the video. Yeah, no, I'm so, hey, oh, oh, oh. All kidding aside, I can't even fathom the web of lies this guy had going and how he kept it going this long. Come on, Jason, haven't you heard of the internet, Facebook? I mean, hell, I get 10 friend requests a day from a friend of a friend who has a cousin that is friends with one of my friends. I mean, someone was bound to find all of this out. Now, if you didn't think this could get any worse than public humiliation and being placed on administrative leave, you would be wrong. Hutchison County Sheriff Blake Kemp said Collier was arrested by the Texas Rangers and taken into custody at the Hutchison County Jail. He's currently charged with tampering with a government record with the intent to defraud or harm. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Jason, I got some news for you. The internet is forever and you're not gonna erase this mess. Now, in a statement Wednesday, the Stinnett city manager said that the city of Stinnett is aware of the current situation surrounding the chief of police and they are taking this seriously and they will be looking into any violations of city policy. As per city policy, we will refrain from commenting on any personal issues of personnel in a public forum. Well, no need to worry about that, my friend. The internet's already taking care of that for you. There is literally a Facebook group that was created today called the Jason Collier Netflix series and already has over 100,000 followers. Now, the Stinnett mayor, Colin Locke, weighed in on this topic as well and said, quote, there is a possible violation of city policy, though he did not want to further expand on the city statement. P possible? Really? Well, Mayor Locke, Policies are pretty black and white, so either he did or he didn't. Just flip that little book open and read on through. I mean, take your pick on this one. 
Conduct Unbecoming comes to mind in case you need a hand. Now, with all good internet drama comes memes, so let's take a look at the golden eggs this story has produced. All right, boys and girls, I'm here for the memes. First up, March Safe from Jason Collier trying to lure me into a marriage today. Classic. Jason Collier with all of his relationships. Oh, I love it. Trying to explain Jason Collier to my husband who just got home from work. So funny story, actually, uh, Alicia is the one who brought all this to my attention. She told me about it earlier this morning and as the day has gone on, she is just like more and more Facebook stuff and this and that sending me things. So it just got to a point where I was like, I gotta tell you guys about it. So that that's my wife. That's my wife right there. <laughs> Jason Collier watching his girlfriends become friends. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Bringing the twisted T in. The internet, Jason Collier. That is a fact. Stinnett Police Department. <laughs> uh. Nothing to see here, folks. Especially not from my wife or my two fiancés or girlfriend. Classic Simpsons. When your two fiancés start talking to each other and find out about your wife and girlfriend. I feel like I've seen this one before on something else. Oh, Bernie. Don't you? <laughs> a little devil and a little angel. Oh, you people are so creative. I love you, internet. <laughs> that would be classic. I want to see someone hack the city's website and put that on as their greeting photo in the background. Netflix presents The Bachelor. The married and also engaged bachelor. <laughs> All right, so here's a breakdown of all of the women who have come forward and the messages that they've sent and how they've verified their stuff. They even have a little engagement ring next to Angie, Christy, and Sarah. So this is saying he was engaged to three different people. I can't even follow this. Oh, uh, one is a, a possible fiance who hasn't come forward yet. So you know what, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can link this as like a, a PDF or a picture below if you guys wanna look at it longer, but uh, the people who take the time to do this. Somebody sat at home and created this little flow chart. Like, I mean, bravo. But also, where do you have the time to do that? All right, guys, that was just a sprinkling of the many memes that are on the internet, and I'm sure there will be more to come. So if you've seen one that you think is hilarious, tag me in it. Mikey Mo 50 on Instagram, and I will post some of the responses if you guys come up with something that I didn't have here in the thing. Back to the video. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little dive into the drama side of my channel and learned what not to do if you plan on having 17 girlfriends. On another note, as I mentioned earlier, I'm in the process of putting together the first back patrol vlog, so hopefully I'll have that up in the next couple weeks or so. I hope all of you are doing really well, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this story down below. So until the next video, take really good care of yourselves and stay safe out there.